This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McClain. What are some of the main things anyone approaching retirement should know? We have a solid list to walk you through today. We're so glad that you're joining us for another installment of Financial Insanity. Out of the box thinking for your financial sanity. I'm Alex Dingman here with Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group. Remember, if you hear something today, raises some questions, 609 488 4646 is the number. 609 488 4646. So we're going to talk about the retirement list, to-do list, also later on, retirement dreams versus reality, and putting Scott to the test with some inflation trivia. That all Piece of cake. later on. Oh, yeah, I am <laughs> sure. Very confident here. As you inch closer and closer to celebrating the end of your career, your retirement to-do list just gets longer and longer, Scott. So many boxes to check to sure. help make sure you are prepared what is that first question you ask someone who wants to know if they are able to retire? Scott, it seems like a simple question, but I realize it's fairly complex. You know, when it comes to retirement, the first question is not a financial question. It's a psychological, emotional question. This is really, really important. If you're listening right now, this is really important. And the reason why is, you know, doing this for now 40 plus years, this is the main thing that uh, pops up, Alex, when we were talking about this the other night, we were having dinner and yeah. we were talking about this. And the biggest question comes out to, can I retire? Not financially, emotionally. Mm. What are you going to do? You raise your hand, you're ready to retire. It's almost like buying that first house. You're excited until the first mortgage payment shows up. Well, in this case here, you're planning on retiring. Maybe you are ready to leave that double SOB backwards, your boss backwards. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say this on radio, <laughs> but you're ready to retire. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sure. But now that you're retired for one, two, three months, what are you going to do? So number one, the biggest thing I would say, Alex, is what are you going to do after retirement? What are the game plans? And I hear this more often than not, Scott, I am more busy than ever now that I'm retired. And then you have another discussion six months to a year into it. And they said, Scott, we're bored. I got to do something. I got to do something. So this is psychologically, Alex. Alex, it's not just about money. It's about can you, what are you going to do? How are you going to handle it? And if you're married, this could be uh, challenging for both you and your wonderful spouse, because again, you're going to see them a lot more than you used to. Right. Can you handle it? Alex? Yeah. And yeah, not, not to make anybody feel bad, but that's just the reality. You know, you've been away from this person eight hours of a day or whatever, and they've been doing their thing. You've been doing your thing, maybe longer. And now yeah. you're staring at each other, and it's like, oh. Okay. I mean, Bob Barker kind of gets uh, old. Is he still around? I don't know. <laughs> you think about nice. all the, the Vanna Whites. There, she was kind of pretty to watch. But, sure. of course, there's new one. You, you know, the longest-running show, Wheel of Fortune, still running today. The, the, I, I can just remember Daddy calling me. I'll never forget it. I think I've said this once before, Alex, on one of our shows a few years ago when it came to retirement and what do you do. I'll never forget Daddy calling me. Hey, son. Guess what? I said, what, Dad? Son, I took a job. But, Dad, you have enough money. You don't need a job. Son, I just want to do something to get out of the house, and I just have to be away from your mother. Yeah. I said, what do you mean? Are you guys okay? Oh, no. I just got to have that time alone. He took a job at Enterprise 12 hours a day. Of course, that didn't last very long because he, he said, son, I can't use my brain. I just have to drive cars around. But the biggest thing is when he said that to me, it, I, I didn't understand it. It was many, many years ago. And, you know, I thought you'd want to be with your wife or your spouse, or those of you out there, maybe your partner. And the question is, what God has made all of us for a purpose. 
what is that purpose? So I guess psychologically, what is your purpose when you retire? What are you going to do? And many people, maybe you think it's okay, but I can tell you, and I look at the good book when I read it, if you're going to change a habit, you take off one habit, but you must put on another habit. So psychologically, Alex, what are you going to do a great and point. process that in your mind? Then it's about money, Alex, but that's the hardest one psychologically, what are you going to do? Yeah. How do you plan on processing? And if it didn't work, what's the backup? This is really, really important. That's where it starts. If you need help planning your retirement to-do list, 609-488-4646 is the number for Scott. 609-488-4646. Because when you talk- Hey, to- Alex, yeah, Alex, by ahead. the way, that's our website. If they just hit .com, they can go right to the website and see a bunch of articles there. We're going to be adding to that. Uh, I'm working with this wonderful firm uh, that is uh, that and actually it's your firm, Alex. Uh, that's actually helping me design our website for educational processes. So keep on that website, 609-488-4646.com. I'm sorry to b- bother in, no, Alex. That's I love really it. important. Anytime, my friend. And, and just <laughs> real quickly before we move on to some more of the financial retirement to-do list, but you're hitting on the psychological thing and what you're talking about too is just the fear of boredom and you know nothing will kill you faster than being bored and you've had all this time to work and and have a busy day and now yeah it sounds great you have all this freedom all this time but man you could be bored and so that is definitely something that you got to put into your plan is what am i doing with my time how am i keeping myself stimulated like your dad said you know i want to keep using my brain that's a real thing Uh, and so i think that's just a great point now Talking financially here, Scott, there's a, a few things we got to be thinking about. Planning for health care costs, planning for long-term care, planning for inflation. What are yeah. some ways we can tackle some of that stuff, Scott? I think the first most important way is to what is the income I have coming in? What is the income? Everybody wants to go to heaven, but no, nobody wants to die. I think when you when you think about retirement, what is my first game plan and you brought up, uh, you know, long-term care, medical coverage. Well, all of that starts with how much am I bringing in? What is coming in? And then what are the bare essentials going out? You know, your electricity, heat, gas for your car. Maybe you went down from two cars to one car. But again, what I find many, many times is people don't go through that budget. And, uh, and it's a cuss word because when you're making good money, you don't think about a budget. But then when you retire, now you are on a budget called fixed income. And if you're on a fixed income, the question is, okay, what do I have to fix to keep the income coming in? And this is where you change from the investing in the G, the growth investments, to investing in the I, the income investments. And this is a hard, again, psychological, financial psychological mistake uh, people are making because they keep wanting to have spend growth, but you can't spend growth. You spend dividends. Yes, you have to look at Alex, the long-term care. Do you have it? Yes, you need to look at your medical expenses. Yes, you need to look at your your inflation. But the first thing is the very, very first thing is what do I need on a monthly basis if you're married for you and your spouse, or maybe you have a partner, a significant other? What do we need on a monthly basis? That is the very beginning of the planning. Because you could say, yes, I need long-term care, Alex. But if you don't have money to pay for it, well, maybe we need to think of a different alternative, maybe hiding or repositioning your assets into an irrevocable trust. So if either one of you becomes sick or disabled, they can't take your assets away, whatever assets are left. So maybe that's called trust planning if you don't have enough income planning. So this is a real discussion. Again, psychological discussion, emotional discussion, and financial discussion. So let's start with the budget. But Alex, I guess you, you brought inflation. Is my money making money? And of course... We want your money to make money. We also don't want to evaporate your money by rolling the dice and throwing it in some hot stocks that seem hot tips from your kids or your grandkids. And all of a sudden, your hot stocks turn into a cold fish and you can't spend any of it. So this could be very, very challenging when it comes to your retirement. Yeah, definitely. 609-488-4646 is the number for Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. And these questions, they're going to make sense to you, but these are from the head of the Retirement Research Center at the University of Waterloo. That's in Ontario, Canada. 
And the head there, they encourage people to ask themselves these important questions before they retire. What do I want to do when I retire? Right. What kind of life do I want to live in retirement? And how important is it to have family and friends nearby? Do you think yeah, those are good questions, Scott? Those are great questions. And I, I think about whether you have to go to work. You know, it doesn't mean work for everybody. For me and you, Alex, uh, as you know, I'm what, now almost 65. I don't know what I would do. I love this business. Yeah. But maybe those of you who are going to retire, maybe you need to find that hobby. Maybe we talk about psychological, being home with your partner, your significant other, your spouse. But maybe it's a hobby, finding a new hobby. Maybe it's working out, getting in great shape. But again, as you were stating clearly, as you are planning to retire, those of you right now, and you're working 100 miles an hour like I am, I don't know what retirement would look like to me, but I got to design it emotionally. How does it feel and look like? So when I retire, I get that steady paycheck coming in. So I'm not worried about money. I don't have to learn the cuss word for my kids. No, no, no. I can't help you out anymore. This is a very, very important word for many people to learn because they want to help their kids, which means they could be injuring their portfolio. So be careful of the word no. But what does it look like? Are you going to travel? Maybe put down a, a bucket list. Uh, I see, remember those TV shows, a bucket list of I want to go skydiving. I want to go out to Rockies. I want to visit all of the United States. I got one client that came in. I'll never forget it. His bucket list. I'll never forget it. He's a golfer and he wanted to hit the most famous golf courses from Maine to Miami. Hmm. And he wanted to hit at least three to five golf courses per state. So he said, Scott, I almost spent a couple months just laying that out, then calling and finding out where I'd stay before he started his journey. And he, of course, when he came back here in Jersey after those trips, it was amazing what he uh, had a diary of. And so what does your retirement look like? Will it be emotionally exciting. Are your kids going to be involved or not involved? And I think that is, I know that's really important to many, many people. And I, I call it the women. The biggest thing about women I notice, and I'm not just picking on women, but I guess I will. It's almost like they got that magnet behind them. They're drawn back to the kids. Maybe mom and dad, maybe y'all want to move to Florida, but you live in New Jersey and the big magnet on your booty is I got to go back to Jersey. I got to see the grandkids. That is the magnet, the grandkids. So maybe what is the magnet drawing you back before you move? This could be a big detrimental thing on moving as well. And Scott, here in the final minute, will you just kind of help folks understand why they should reach out to you if they want to, you know, help uh, them not lose money in retirement, do these fun things they want to plan? You know, in heading for surgery for my knee, the biggest thing I'm concerned about is, is the doctor the best doctor? How many knee surgeries has he or she done? You know, this business is all I do. Nothing but retirement planning, working with seniors. Now, of course, I work with younger people, but this is all I do. I live it. I breathe it. I love it. So if you have an advisor that lives it, breathes it, love it, Great. Good for you. But if they're not looking at all the possible obstacles, you could be in the wrong house. I challenge you to see if you're at the right place at the right time as you're heading into retirement. Because I can tell you, if I'm going for the knee surgeon, I want to go to the doctor who's got the best track record and does it all the time for a living and educates people. Why? Because they're keeping up on the hottest changes, the hottest tools, which is what we do in the firm, financial planning. That's why I call the financial planning out of the box thinking for your financial planning, McLean Advisory Group. So I look forward to hearing anybody call me off the air, 609 480 Let me say it again, 609-488-4646. If you've got that question, I'm sure we can get the answers for sure. Want to go to our website, just add.com. But don't spend another night worrying about your pillow. Worry about your wallet. Of course, the MyPillow man is selling tons of those, but your retirement is forever. Give us a call, 609-488-4646. I'm here for you. George is here for you. McLean Advisor Group. Thank you, Scott. Coming up, we're going to be talking about retirement dreams versus reality. Don't go anywhere. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. 
Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Retirement planning, investment planning is a two-way street. It's got to meet. I need to understand the good, bad, and ugly you've been through so we can avoid those issues. This, to me, is very important. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. Fewer than one in four Americans think their current retirement lifestyle aligns with what they planned for their retirement to be. Turns out it's one thing to dream about retirement. It's another thing to live in retirement every day. This is Financial Insanity. Scott McLean, McLean Advisor Group. I'm Alex Dingman. If you hear something today and you have questions, you can call the number 609-488-4646. That is 609-488-4646. For six, Scott, what do you think about that? Surprising? Probably not, right? That uh, people <laughs> dreams versus reality, uh, the lavish Heck, dreams, <laughs> yeah, and, and what actually you know, happens. I was thinking about dreams and reality. I know when I was water skiing, uh, when I was a young little rat many years ago in, in Florida, my whole dream was, of course, to go to Cypress Gardens. I was a very good water skier. I competed all over the South, and uh, here it is, uh, February fourteenth at our high school a Valentine's Day dance, and I'm. Uh, Dancing up a storm. I did those splits where you, you know, fall down and you Mm. like a knee split and you jump back up. Well, I didn't jump back, cracked the top of my kneecap. As I was heading to Cypress Gardens, they accepted me, my dream. Well, it's not a reality, although it could have been. But things come in our way. Things came in my way. And that was, of course, a uh, busted kneecap. That was Hmm. really enjoyable. You watch these football players, Alex. I was watching that football game just last week where the guys run the ball. And, of course, the guy falls down and his his ankle twisted one way. And you could hear it was just like I could feel the pain, Hmm. reality and dreams. Yes, he made the pros, but he can't play in the playoffs because he has no more tendons are all busted up. You know, we all have this vision of retirement. Uh, Martin Luther King just recently, as you remember, we, we celebrated what a brilliant young man had dreams and he had visions. If we don't have dreams and visions, we, we lose hope. So number one, we have to have that dream. So we've got to have that, not poo pooing anybody out there. Uh, everybody wants to be in a millionaire, but no one wants to work 50, 60, 70 hours a week. Many of us do that. We, many people want cake and ice cream and candy uh, and uh, they don't want calories. So we have these dreams and visions. The question is when it comes to finances and when it comes to your money, it's the same thing you, you mentioned, uh, in one of our segments, we spoke about uh, having a coach and there's nothing worse. Like myself, you, you know, to work out, everybody knows working out, everybody knows they need to work out. Number one, if you read the AARP, a uh, late latest, uh, article was the heart, heart disease is number one killer. Hmm. And, and here we are stuff in our face. I'm talking to me. Uh, and, <laughs> look in the mirror. We're, we're, we're looked and, and they, and, and are they working out dreams versus reality? What is the vision and the focus you want for your retirement? When I meet with everybody, that is the goal. And of course, dreams versus reality, Alex, you couldn't have said it better because we wanted to turn into reality. Sure. But what's the game plan? Sure. What's the plan? I call it the McLean plan, the clean plan of getting to exercise what you want. And that's, again, it requires not just a dream. It needs to be focused. Well, and a point there is great to dream, but you can also plan to accomplish those dreams. And that's where Scott can step in and you can dream with Scott so that hopefully that does become your reality in retirement. 609-488-4646 is the number. 609-488-4646. 
646 McLean Advisory Group, Jersey Shore, here to help. Now, here we got some more audio for you. Dr. David Eckert taught about aging and retirement at the University of Kansas for 44 years. I bet you guys could get in a room, have some pretty good talks. And he uh, he wrote about his transition to retirement in the Wall Street Journal. And he talked about how he knows intellectually what's going to happen in retirement, living through it, uh, a different thing altogether. And we actually had the chance to speak with him nearly two years into retirement. And here's some audio. He said one of the biggest surprises is how he feels about his use of time now. In my case, I was a professor and I had to teach these classes and I had to attend these meetings and, in other words, meet these uh, time commitments. But really, the relaxation came from taking pressure off of myself. In order to have, as many people do, a successful career, you put pressure on yourself to attempt things and try things and learn things and, and, you know, go for opportunities. And when I no longer had to do that, that was the thing that really, really relaxed me. Uh, It doesn't matter now what time in the morning I start my walk or what time in the afternoon I decide to finish the crossword puzzle. Uh, Time is much less a pressing thing for me. Wow. I I really felt relaxed uh, just kind of as he was finishing that (laughs) thought, just thinking about it doesn't matter what time I have the coffee in the morning because right now it's just, you know, you're up and you're slamming a couple cups and you're taking the dog out and whatever you might be doing. But man, it really framed it up nicely there. He did. I think many people out there, they think of retirement, they rush, 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 rush. Here's retirement. And now they retire, but they didn't put another step in place. I I meant, I have talked about this so often is the next step is place. Okay. What are you going to do when you retire? What's your next, uh, what's your next game plan? What's your next uh, goal? Everyone has purpose, whether it's purpose to wake up and go work out or purpose to go help somebody, purpose to go serve in your church or your community. What's the purpose that will turn you on to make you want to get up and and rock and roll versus the purpose to grab the clicker and watch Bob Barker on TV? (laughs) What's the purpose? What can you get out of life? It's I like the I like the saying I keep telling people I, I want to create history. I don't want to read about history. I want to know what I'm going to do. What can I change? What can I impact? How can I help people? But I I really enjoy watching people's faces like just the other day when I was helping someone retire and they didn't think they had enough for retirement, Alex. Hmm. And they came in, the husband and wife came in and, and their face was almost like disgruntled. And we spoke about just this subject. I'll never forget it when they said, well, Scott, can we retire? And we looked at their social security. We looked at their savings. We looked at their pension. And I had them do their budget, which I talked so often about it, right with me in our office. And I said, well, based on what you need, you need $3,200 a month. And they, they said, yes, Scott. I said, well, you want to know the good news? He says, yeah. I said, you're bringing in from your Social Security and from your pension, you're bringing in $3,000. Your deficit is two. Your tax bracket will bring it down to zero, so you'll have no federal or state taxes. You should have seen their face. It went from from dismal to just absolutely display of elegance. We can do this. Yeah. And based on your retirement savings, even though they had a very small retirement savings, that meant they would not get $3,200, the $200 they're missing, but they had up to $4,000, an extra $1,000 a month they could pull out of their accounts and not lose a spot. There was our inflationary stop drop. There was our guarantee. I could have a guaranteed income for the rest of my life. So watching someone dream about it and then someone getting together and walking them through that valley. Some of you are going through the valley of shadow of no hope. And, and you need that, maybe that, that light. But there's other of you who are probably in that no hope. Maybe you need to change. Maybe you need to have a different game plan. I can tell you, we've deal with all sorts of people. There's another better. My people perish because what? what? Lack of vision. Maybe you need someone to help create that vision so you can have retirement in the next journey of your life. New occupation, new trial. And I think that's what's being missed. I can tell you that's what's being missed when I talk to so many people on a daily basis 
What's their dream? What's their reality? Can we get there? What are they going to do? Are they going to invest in enjoy the kids or not? And I think that's important here, Alex. By the way, if you're listening to me right now, let me help you out. I can tell you one thing. There's nothing better than the, what's the next step? What do we have to do? What can I offer others rather than yourself? And it just, it comes alive. The number 609-488-4646. If you have questions, Scott may have answers for you. 609-488-4646. He may be able to help you have those retirement dreams become a reality. Yeah. More from uh, Dr. Eckert here, as the transition into all that free time can create some conflicted feeling for retirees. Dr. Eckert says he's experienced that internal conflict as well. As I put it, I have two angels on my shoulder. Yeah. One angel whispers in my ear, relax, take it easy. The <laughs> other angel whispers in my ear, shouldn't you be doing something right now? That's hilarious. I used that <laughs> the angel devil analogy <laughs> earlier. Man, I have that too. Man, me and I the think doctor are thinking alike. I'm feeling good about myself here. But uh, <laughs> but no, but isn't that true? Because, yeah, that sounds all well and good. But if you're a, a disciplined person, you're somebody, you're a hard worker, you're used to having that schedule, aren't you going to feel a little guilty too if, if, you're, if you don't have much to do? Yeah, I, I do. And I have that same feeling. My best friend in Jacksonville, he calls me up, when are you going to retire, buddy? I'm out here relaxing, having a beer with my buddies around the fire. I said, Dale, I love you to death, but I'm relaxing sitting with people. I, that's my, I don't know if that's the definition of retirement, doing what you love. He likes hanging out, doing things. We're totally opposite, yet we're best friends. And that yin and yang, I guess. Right. Uh, I'm not sure. I do have that pressure in my mind to, to keep producing. Maybe that's my parents, uh, Luckily, we're alcoholics and then, of course, stop drinking. I, I got to see both sides. Maybe my alcoholism is my work. I love what I do. It's, it just gets me excited to help touch families. But I don't know what, what you're out there, out there listening, what your excitement is. I have a friend uh, who's a tremendous, I have a landscape company in, uh, in the Long Beach Island area. He's got a tremendous business. He keeps wanting to retire. He looks at me. He says, Scott, I'm going to retire. I said, you're full of crap. Hmm. He looks at me. His wife's cracking up. I said, I bet you're thinking about buying another company. He said, well, I kind of was. I said, so you're, you're, don't, stop playing with yourself. Either you're going to buy a company or not buy a company because you're not going to retire. His wife is cracking up. We're in the office together. I, I won't say their name yet. I didn't get their permission. Lovely couple building a tremendous landscape uh, company. And yet he's talking about retirement. I, I don't know. I can't guide him. I can't help him because I'm on that side of the fence. I just don't know what I would do unless I just kept talking to people and, and loving on people. It just, that gets me excited. How about you out there? What is your dream? What is your real reality? I, I think about that. What is, what does retirement look like to you? It doesn't need to be my vision. It needs to be your vision. I remember psychology today, today as it talks about dreams are more real than anyone ever thought. You're thinking about them. You're walk, you're waking up, you're thinking about them and it's leading you somewhere. Maybe just maybe, uh, what are you thinking about? What, what you think may come real. 609-488-4646. If you want those dreams become a reality in retirement, Scott may be able to help. 609-488-4646 at a.com at the end for the website. And we're going to talk more about retirement dreams versus reality here in just a bit. Don't go anywhere. This is Financial Insanity. Out of the box thinking for your financial sanity. It's nice when you get everything on your list in one place, isn't it? Scott McLean from McLean Advisor Group agrees. That's why he offers comprehensive retirement planning all under one roof. You shouldn't have to go one place for tax planning, another for estate planning, and another for retirement income planning. That's why McLean Advisory Group was started. Scott wanted to build a company that could help families with all aspects of their retirement planning. McLean Advisory Group is more than just convenient. They're knowledgeable and experienced. And for answers for your questions, you can set up a meeting with Scott and his team to talk about your retirement. 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Use the same number to reach a team online. 609-488-4646.com. Investment advisory services are offered through Bellpoint Asset Management, LLC. Firm offers insurance services but does not provide tax or legal advice. 
And when you pay down debt, you don't pay down the highest interest rate. The biggest mistake is you pay the highest interest rate card when you should do the snowball effect of paying down debt. We made it back. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. Unfortunately, fewer than one in four Americans think their current retirement lifestyle aligns with what they planned for their retirement to be. So discussing that today, it's one thing to dream about retirement, a whole nother thing to live in retirement every day. Here with Scott McLean of McLean Advisory Group, this is Financial Insanity. If you hear something, if you have questions, the number is 609 488 46 Four, six. So, Dr. David Eckert taught about aging and retirement for more than four decades at the University of Kansas, retired himself a couple of years ago. He says, one of the many factors we have to consider when it comes to retirement, not only how we're going to spend our own time, but what happens if we have a spouse who is retiring with us? You know, I married him for better or worse, but not for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. What, what do you think? Of, any truth to that, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's, I'll never forget. Uh, dad called me. I was in the, uh, my, uh, old office in Tom's river, New Jersey. And, and he called me up and he said, son, I retired. I said, well, that's great, dad. I'm so happy for you because yeah. Um, but I took a job, <laughs> but dad, you, you didn't need to, you had plenty of money. You have great income, son. Um, I have to get away from your mom. <laughs> and I didn't know how to process that. I, I swear to you, I, I, I never understood. I was right. a lot younger than I am now, obviously. And I said, well, dad, um, are you okay? Y'all are all right. He said, oh, I love your mother to death. I just can't stand being around her 24 <laughs> seven. I said, well, what? he goes, son, I took a job and, uh, I just love doing something. And, uh, I just did not want to, uh, just be around her. Like I couldn't do it. I didn't understand that. And as I now morphed into my age now, I'm an old, old bat right now. And, uh, <laughs> you know what, can I be around my spouse? I think a lot of people who are about to retire, they want to have that beautiful, uh, re uh, we, we did a show. I think you remember Alex reality or uh, dreams versus reality. And, uh, and I think one of the things is we want to be a, go out, have fun, do what we want when we want, whenever we want, that's retirement. Okay, great. But did we think about some of the evils, some of the deadly causes, not just my dad saying that to me because he was jokingly, but serious. Yeah. Like the doctor, good doctor says, well, can we be around that person that long? Some people can. And man, I am just so happy for you. Uh, other people just need a sense of purpose or be around different people. And that doesn't make you a bad person. No. And I, I think I hear a lot of people, everybody's so different, but one of the things I'm going to help you guys with, I want to bring this up in this, in this short time we have is those of you that are about to retire and you maybe have a, you're about to maybe push some buttons saying, okay, I want to retire. What does it look like? Number one, you need to calculate your income. And then if your spouse is younger than you calculate medical costs, that's the, that's a real, real challenge. Then you need also. What is our expenses going to be and what kind of trips you want? These are serious conversations you need to have. So let me tell you what the definition of serious is. Both of you have a couple glasses of wine, relax, and then start talking about it. So at least the juices will get flowing. You'll be excited. But again, you got to talk about reality. Do we have enough money, retirement, our social security benefits? Because a lot of time when you do social security, pension planning, or retirement planning, the question is what happens if? No one wants to talk about if the husband dies, will the wife be able to live on that same income or less? If the wife dies, will the husband be able to live on that? And so I think that's the biggest challenge I find when it comes to planning. But the first thing is, what are you guys going to do together? What's your game plan? And here's some good news from uh, Dr. David Ecker. We've been hearing from him throughout the show, an expert in aging and retirement as he taught this for over four decades and retired himself in 2020. So really an expert now uh, in the subject, yeah. I'd say. But uh, he says during his research of how people act in retirement, and how they adapt to retirement, he found that there won't be any serious effects on a marriage. He says there will be adjustments to make, but these things won't actually threaten your marriage. People really actually look forward to retirement as a time that they can finally spend together after decades of uh, raising children and marching off to work 
now they can enjoy one another's uh, together and engage in activities that they would like to explore. Yeah, so I think that's the flip side, Scott. There's one thing, you know, it yeah. can definitely be true of, oh, oh, you know, crud, we're, we're staring at each other all day now, and, uh, yep. you know, we, we're not used to having to entertain each other all the time. But the other thing is, oh, but we do have this time now on, on the weekends or during the week where we can we can go on those trips or we can go out to dinner more and we can date again and, and that kind of thing. And so right. it, that time really does, uh, you know, uh, free up for you in that way, and that can be positive. Well, and Scott, when you're dealing with a couple— I know the answer to this, but how is it, you alluded to this, but the importance of communication about expectations, goals for retirement. We're talking about dreams versus reality today. And just how important is that to, to get a couple in to talk this through? They want to talk with themselves, but also somebody like you that can help guide them as well. I like to talk about what they envision retirement or what they envision the next three to five years look like. I don't want to go out too far because it's too hard to think too far out. But what does it look like? What does it feel like? How much time are you going to spend with the kids or grandkids? Or are you going to spend that time? Maybe they don't have any children. Maybe they have themselves, their family, their friends. And so I want to know what it looks like. I want to know their feelings. I want to see what juices them. I want to find out what their favorite trips was or vacation was or places to visit. Do they want to travel? Then that leads into the money. It's not money leads into that. It's they pretty much paint the picture. Like those of you listening right now, and you think about painting the picture, what would it look like to retire? I am a hypocrite right now because I frankly don't know what my retirement would look like except helping people, going home, seeing my kid, family, talking to them, and then going back to help other people. Maybe I'm messed up. Maybe I need some help. But that for me at this point- The topic for a different day, Scott. Exactly, exactly. (laughs) We'll talk about you later, okay? But I think everybody has that vision, what it looks like for them. I've been self-employed my entire life. Well, I I lied. I worked at UPS when I was going to college. I worked there from- uh, 1 a.m. till 6 uh, a.m. And then I ended up uh, going to college and then from 8 to uh, 11 or 12. And then I went to pump gas from 2 to 4. And then I, and then of course, studied. So I guess it's been inbred to me because that's what I've been doing my whole life. I don't know anything different. But for those of you who have been employed 20, 40 hours a week, I've got people coming in. They can't wait to retire. They either hate their new boss or they hate the, the younger people are, are ticking them off because they're sitting there with the cell phones at work and, and not doing what they, the older people are watching this happen, getting ticked off. And how come they can t- text all day long and barely do any work? And the older people, uh, and I'm not picking on just young people, by the way, but they're, it's a different breed out there. And they just, I just hear this over and over again. Maybe that's why they want to retire. So what's it going to look like for you? And I think that's the hardest part. Where do you want to go? What does it look like? And, and, and then I remember going to a Tony Robbins workshop. Maybe you take up a sport. Maybe you take up a, a, a golf. Maybe the people these days are playing this uh, pickleball, which is number one sport of all the seniors who are heading into that world. Is the new They're going to try pickleball. And even though you're not athletic, maybe you're going to try mahjong. And you're going to try something different and fall in love with something, something so outrageously fun that life just starts to spin go hundred miles an hour like it did when I was 18 years old. And here I am, what, 64 years old. So uh, life goes very quick, Alex. You're a youngster. I think you see that. But when you're my age, you'll say, wow, that Scotty was right. Look how quick it's been. So enjoy the time now. And then again, put a game plan together. Great advice. 609-488-4646. If you need help getting a game plan put together, 609 488 Four six, four six, and we know this that women statistically outlive men by about six years. So you're going to have a lot of wives outliving their husbands in retirement. I'm sure that you you see this. And d- yeah. how how does that come up in, in retirement planning? I mean, is is this something that you discuss with couples? Alex, if if I'm talking to anybody out there who's couples, um, and this was just just today, and I'm looking at the couple, and I found out. He had an income, a nice, beautiful pension of $5,200 a year, worked in the government 
a sector for all his life. And his wife had a pension income was $2,200. And she was a teacher. Well, when I asked the cuss question, here's the cuss question. So, Bill, if you passed away, how much of the 5200 does your wife get? And he said to me, well, she gets $1,000 a month. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 1000 He said, yeah. Okay. And then I asked Jane, I said, Jane, let me ask you a question. Of the $2,200 a month, how much does Bill get? Well, he'll get 500 So instantly... I'm thinking to myself, whoa, you're going from $7,400 of income and all of a sudden it's going to change like a flicker in the night, Hmm. like a light going out. You're living on this large. They had hardly any savings at all. They were banking on Social Security and the pension. And they said, well, Scott, we have such a great income. Should we buy another house? No. Scott, should we, we have this place with my sister. We're going to buy it and we're going to go ahead and, uh, uh, and then flip it in another couple of years. What should we do? If you can make a profit, take it now. I think you need know, to focus on you and your husband, nobody else. My concern, and they had no life insurance and he was not healthy. Hmm. These are questions that, that are hard to ask. So I try to ask them in a different way to make it more um, direct, but not, so uncomfortable, but I'd rather have you uncomfortable now than your spouse pass away. And now you're, there's no hope. There's no, why we never talk about this, Scott, you know, how come we didn't plan for this? You know, what, what am I supposed to do now? Right. And I did ask him that question. I said, when I said, Bill, baby, let me ask you a question. When you chose the $5,200, why did you choose the thousand dollars for your spouse? He goes, we needed the money. Now, I'm not here to judge. I just need to find out why. Exactly. When I asked his wife, I said, Jane, let me ask you something. Why did you pick the 22 arm? Well, he's giving me less. I'm going to give him less. (laughs) What? (laughs) So now I didn't judge it. I just have to process it on, okay, how can I help them out and help them understand we need to start really putting a, a, maybe a safety net together that in the event you pass away, maybe we need to put a house into a trust. Your taxes will be changed because you'll have a less of a tax return, which would be nice. Perhaps we need to hide the house. If you, if either one of you stay remaining alive, but your lights go dim, Alzheimer, dementia, how much cash are we going to burn? And will you be out of money? And will the cat food train start to meow, come alive? And I'm concerned about what kind of lifestyle you have, not just now, but in the future. So that's, again, a, a question for now. Again, the dream for the next two to three to five years, what are you going to do? And then the game plan is, okay, well, let's talk about money. And that's where the rubber meets the road. Great cat impersonation, by the way, Scott. That was was spot on. (laughs) 609-488-4646 is the number. 609-488-4646. It's been great talking retirement dreams versus reality. And when we come back, we still have to put Scott to the test love doing this i can't wait we've got a round of retirement trivia coming up next oh this will be fun Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. News, tips, the financial tricks, all right here. It's the kind of devil we need around here. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. 
Welcome back. Financial insanity, out-of-the-box thinking for your financial sanity. I'm Alex Dingman alongside Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group. If you have questions, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. And this is uh, one of the best segments that we do. And we uh, put Scott to the test, do a round of retirement trivia. And we're going to talk inflation this time around, Scott. Are you ready? I am ready. This is, should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. Love the confidence. <laughs> All right. 1950. We're going back to 1950. What was the median home value in 1950? Your options. That's not fair. I'm an old bat. I'm well, 64. I'm giving, I wasn't even around the 50s. I'm going to give you some options. Hey, you know history, right. though, my friend. All right. That's true. All okay. Right. All right. All right. Let's see. A, 3,468. <laughs> B, 6,115, C, 7,354, or was it D, just under 10,000 at 9,998? Median home value in 1950. What is the answer, Scott? Wow. I'm going to go with D, 9,998. 9,998. I remember my first house in 1983. It was uh, 43,000. And, uh, well, maybe I should, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that. That is oh, wrong. I, oh, you know what? That is wrong. Shot clock violation. The answer was C, or is C, 7,354. Oh, wow. And now by okay. 1990, so 40 years later, the median home value in the U.S. was up to 79,100. And by 2020, median home price over $330,000. Wow. Poor so. kids today have to buy a house. It's ridiculous. Yikes. All right. Moving on. Question number two, healthcare costs. Another thing that seems to increase at a slightly a different pace than inflation. American Medical Association says healthcare costs increase by about blank per year. So this is how much it increases per year. Are we talking A, 4.5%? B, 5.3%, C, 5.7%, or D, 6.4%. What do you think, Scott? Alex, I use 4.5 in my planning. I sure hope it's, I think it's probably 6.4, but I'm going to say I, in my planning, I'm using 4.5, so I don't know if I'm, I think I'm, oh, oh yeah, yes. Daddy. American Medical Association says the average is 4.5%, so you did uh, do your homework. 2019 uh, study found healthcare spending in the U.S. about $3.8 trillion, or about 11582 per person. By 2028, costs projected to climb up to $6.2 trillion nationally, or about 18000 per person. Wow. So... Something that you definitely have to plan for. I think it was higher, too. I was always thinking more. Thanks. Well, if you have questions about that or anything else, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Doing retirement trivia here, and we're doing inflation trivia. Question number three for you, Scott. So you got one one right, yep. one wrong so far. So All right, all right. Rub it in. Uh, how much has the cost of college tuition increased since the 1960s. So how much has the cost of college tuition increased since the 1960s? A, 247%, B, 361%, C, 378%, or is it D, 403%, Scott? Wow. You know, where do you get these, where do you get these stinking questions? This is so unfair, dude. Hey man, I got a whole team behind me, all right? I can't take credit for this. I'm gonna say 378%, I'm pulling this out of my, uh, rabbit hole for sure. Well, guess what? That is wrong. Oh, dude. You know, some real you, you started saying three, and I thought maybe you'd get it. The answer is I B, three sixty-one percent. So much money. So, oh my gosh, in 1963, Scott, annual cost of tuition at a four-year public college was two hundred and forty-three dollars. You can't even get you can't even get uh, more than no. two books for that now. No. From 1989 no. to and college kids today are like books. What? Uh, from 1989 <laughs> to 2016, college costs increased almost almost eight times faster than wages. So, you know, grandma and grandpa say they paid their way through college. A little bit different story today. I paid there. my way, and I can tell you one thing. <laughs> it's expensive as all get out, and I remember mine was like uh, at, at Nyack College and then Ocean County College first, and it was uh, hey. luckily I got a scholarship in music, but it's expensive as 
Well, and That's nothing amazing. against you or anyone else who did it. It was tough when you did it. Just saying. Yeah. The, the prices have gone up and up and up. 609-488-4646. 609-488-4646. Doing some retirement trivia. Here is a question number four. In 1974, President Ford declared inflation as public enemy number one. Is that true or false? Absolutely true. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah that one is a big right. Yep, yep. Yeah, I got two. There you go, my man. Hey, two for two, 50%. Technically an F, but uh, that's okay. Uh, you know, you have yeah. a, a made up uh, 20 points, we'll say at this point. I wonder how the audience is listening to us, what they're coming up with the numbers. So come on. Yeah, is- no, play along with us, folks. <laughs> Question number five, at an average rate of inflation, around 3%, how often will prices double? Is that going to be about every 10 years, every 15, every 20, or about every 30 years that prices double? That's easy for those listening. Uh, rule of 72. So obviously the number is 20 years. Rule of 72, a great rule when you look at your investments. There you go, my friend. I can do that one. Hey, <laughs> hey, you're a smart guy. Just as compound interest can multiply your savings, compound inflation can multiply the effects of inflation. From 1913 yeah. to 2020, U.S. has seen inflation of 2,555%. All right. right, so how about uh, a little uh, bonus round here? All this right. is interesting. So after adjusting for inflation, what is the highest grossing movie of all time? So this is interesting. So you have the adjust for inflation, highest grossing movie of all time. Is it A, Wizard of Oz, B, Titanic, C, Gone with the Wind, or D, Jaws? A lot of great flicks there to pick from. What happened to Star Wars? I mean, dude. They, they, I would have thought I, it was on there. Damn, they're not even on there. All right, so I, I'm going to go with uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. You're making me look bad. I'm I mean, sorry. People listening, this is unbelievable. Wizard of Oz. Give me the was not the it. Time. The answer, gone with the wind. So adjusted wow. for inflation in 2017, here's the top five highest grossing movies of all time. Gone with the wind, $1.6 billion. Star Wars, $1.4 billion. So you weren't wrong, just wasn't answer. on the list. Sound of Music, <laughs> $1.3 billion. Wow. E.T., $1.12 billion. And The Ten Commandments at $10 billion. So gone with the wind. Adjusted for inflation, one point six billion dollars. So, Ten Commandments was one billion. You said yep, ten. I one billion. That. I'm they sorry. They, one get, billion. they get a ten anyway. Getting confused. Cause... Ten Commandments, one billion. So <laughs> not quite a billion per commandment. I there. love it. Six zero nine four eight eight four six four six. Talking about inflation and Scott, why is it just so important to think about it when we're doing retirement planning? I just hope people don't come in and they hear me missing the answers, and they're going to quiz me. They're going to no. make me look like a fool. I love it. I hey, love it. You know, I'm not. I'm, you're not getting any real prep time here. So you know, this is all off the top, <laughs> the top of the noggin. I love it's it. tough. But yeah, just talk about that a little bit, the effects inflation has and and why you have to look at that when, you know, you have retirement that could be going longer and longer, 20, 30, sometimes 40 years. Not only is retirement going longer because we're living longer, hopefully we're living longer and we're healthy. The challenge is living longer and you're unhealthy. So I guess one, one reality check is, are you working out? Are you exercising? Are you getting out and about? Uh, But of course, the reality check is real. Uh, we see the price of cars jumping uh, crazy. We saw that during the pandemic where the used cars were, were were more valuable than you paid for it. We see babies growing up and now they need new shoes every other week. And that's going to for you grandparents out there. You're, you're probably should go to the, uh, uh, the discount stores <laughs> instead of buying because that's going to hit your wallet. Inflation can really, really uh, take a gouge out of your quality of life. And uh, obviously, you guys are watching, listening to me right now, those numbers and those hearing what's happening. You see the price. Of, I live out in the farm area in Southampton and you see the eggs that are farm fresh. I love them next to our neighbors got it. But you see in the grocery store, inflation is really taking a toll, which is causing a lot of families some internal problems. And, and if it's causing your family a problem, meaning your children, you want to help them out and uh, be careful of helping out too much because that could really affect your retirement later on. Scott, give that number one final time. Yeah, love to hear from you. If you have questions, uh, hopefully I'll have all the answers for sure. I know uh, how to get the answers. 609-488-4646. 
This is Scott McLean. Ask for Bonnie if I'm on the phones. Uh, we are we work 100 miles an hour, and during tax season, our busiest time of year, we, we do hundreds and hundreds of returns. So I don't want to miss your call. And if I'm a little delayed, I will call you if you have your questions. Get your questions formulated. And I love to speak to anyone out there and help you, guide you to make smart decisions about your retirement as you're in or nearing retirement. Of course, maybe this could be a nice home for you. Maybe you'd like to say, Scott, I'd like to maybe work with you on a part-time or full-time basis. I'd like to have you guide me through this many decisions in retirement because one wrong decisions could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars, especially when it comes to picking your social security or picking your pension options. Give me a call, 609-488-4646. I'm at the studios right here. No cost, no obligation. I'd love to help you. This presentation may contain information which has undergone regulatory or other significant change since its original recording. The information on this program is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up-to-date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Discussions and answers to questions do not involve the rendering of personalized investment advice and is limited to the dissemination of general information and may not be suitable for members of the listening audience. Communications such as this are not impartial and are provided in connection with advertising and marketing or McLean Advisory Group. Prior to making any investment or financial decisions, an investor should always seek advice from a financial, insurance, legal, or tax professional. McLean Advisory Group and or Scott McLean offer investment advisory and financial planning services through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement. 